Welcome to the TomTattle.com Driving Traffic to Your Small Business Website Series. In this third module, we will learn all about pay-per-click advertising. You will learn how to set up your first ad campaign, and I will also show you all the beginner mistakes to avoid to save you time and money. Recently, I read a great article on pay-per-click advertising and SEO. For those of you that don't know what SEO is, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimizations. Geeks, uh, like myself, can take a website and use a, a bunch of, we won't call them tricks, but tactics and strategies uh, that will help rank your website. And I like to call them, I don't, I don't want you to think that I use little tricks that aren't allowed. I like to call them best practices. We find the best practices and apply them to your website and get them to rank higher in, in search. So if you happen to be on the first page, statistics tell us that approximately 75% of people do not go past the first page of results when doing a Google search. So very important, you wanna try and make that first page. Everybody's trying to make that first page. And when they hire geeks, again, like myself, to try and rank you onto that first page, very competitive. Now, back to this article that I read, it was written by Ryan Stewart, and a super article, and it just basically outlines how the landscape is changing, where uh, Google has more become, most recently, a more of a pay-to-play landscape. Now, if we take a look at uh, search results, and you'll see a, a large percentage of the search results are dominated by ads. So in above the fold results, above the fold means when you open up your laptop and you see the search results, the full top of my screen is, is ads of results for your search result term. So that wasn't the case back a few years ago. Um, you know, they used to have a couple ads at the top and then a bunch of ads down the side, maybe one, two to at most five or six ads on the side. The ads on the side are gone now. Now we have ads at the top, we have ads at the bottom. And basically if you want people, like I say, those 75% to see uh, your, your business offer, you gotta pay to play. And that's called pay-per-click advertising. If you'd like to see a, a link to that full article by Ryan Stewart, it is on my website at tomtattle.com slash traffic. Just go down to the uh, pay-per-click advertising section and you'll see that link in there. Excellent article, give it a read. And a lot of the top experts in the industry did agree with Ryan that that's very much the way things are going. So what is pay-per-click advertising? Uh, again, you've seen those ads at the top, you've seen those ads at the bottom, You've seen Facebook, you've seen ads on Facebook. Also Bing, let's not forget Bing, another search engine. Uh, Bing and Yahoo have combined. And if you wanna run ads on Bing and Yahoo, which accounts for approximately 30% uh, of the search in the USA, uh, roughly 20 to 30% of the estimates and Google owns roughly uh, 65 to 70% of the search volume. So those are the two main players if you wanna do pay-per-click advertising for search. And Facebook is uh, the number one player if, you, if you're in the social realm. Now, me personally, this is my feeling on this. If I go to a social website, Facebook, for example, I'm there, I'm looking at, uh, you know, there's uh, my aunt's recipe for cupcakes that she loves. Oh, there's a picture of my nephew falling off a horse. You know, all kinds of stuff. I'm not there looking for services if I wanted to, you know, oh wow, there's an ad for a painting company. I know I'm here to check out my friends and families, you know, what's going on lately, but yeah, I think I'm gonna buy, you know, this this painting service. No, it doesn't, me personally, that's not as effective as me actually sitting down at my laptop and say, you know what, I need some painting services. I'm going to Google, I'm going to Bing, I'm gonna key in, you know, where's the best painter in town? Who is, that's, I'm in the market. I've got my credit card out. I'm ready to, I've got my phone there, I'm ready to uh, hire those services. To me, that's when people are near the end of the sales funnel, when they're actually doing the searches. So that's a personal thing. You'll, you'll get some people 
uh, some experts in the industry that swear by Facebook ads. Me personally, I just have not been successful at it. And if I do, if I find uh, how to make them work properly, I will definitely post that on here and uh, do a whole section on Facebook ads. But for right now, for small business, for local small businesses, pay-per-click advertising on search is the way to go. So some small businesses will pay pay-per-click experts, pay-per-click companies, uh, hundreds up to thousands of dollars per month to manage their pay-per-click advertising. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, uh, it is quite complicated, but you know what? Riding a bike when you're five years old was quite complicated too, but you learn, right? So it's, it's not that hard. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, techniques and, and pitfalls to avoid. And in this video, I'm hoping to give you a great, uh, all the, all the basics, what you need to do to get up and running yourself so you do not need to hire somebody to run your pay-per-click advertising. As a added bonus, I want to, I'm always trying to bring my viewers value. I've found a free coupon that's available to everybody. If you want to do pay-per-click advertising with Google, they have a, uh, sim simply type in your search bar in Google um, Google AdWords coupon, Google AdWords coupon. So when you get the search results right near the top, you'll see one from google.com. Click on that. And the deal is spend $25 in advertising and they will credit you with another $75. So great deal. Don't sure, don't be sure to, to catch that. And, uh, it'll help you even if you only want to spend $25 on this to see if this stuff works, you're going to have a hundred dollar value of of uh, advertising, a free 75 bucks thrown in there from Google. So again, the link for that will be right on the screen here. I'll show you the link. And also if you go to tomtallow.com slash traffic down to the pay-per-click section, there'll be a link to that as well. Okay. But first let's set up our Google AdWords account followed by creating our first ad campaign. Okay. Welcome back to the Google AdWords dashboard here. Uh, for those of you that participated in module number two, the keywords uh, lesson, in that module, we created a Google AdWords account. So if you do not already have a Google AdWords account, uh, I need you to create one. There, there is, uh, in that video, instructions on exactly how to set that up. And for those that are following along through the series, uh, basically, here we are at the, the dashboard. Uh, just simply go to adwords.google.com and sign, you know, sign in with your username and password that you created when you created the Gmail account. And uh, you'll land on this page. So the click on the, make sure you click on the campaigns tab. So we're basically ready to create our first AdWords campaign. So uh, to do that, there's uh, a four step process. You're gonna choose your budget, create your ads, and select your keywords that you're going to target and then finally enter any billing information. Now don't get scared here. Uh, if you want to, you know, set a $5 a day budget and only run that for one day, just test it out for one day. That's perfectly acceptable. Uh, that's and in fact, I advise, you know, don't go crazy on your, your first experiment. Don't spend, uh, you know, $500, $200, just test the waters, you know, try a few bucks and, and, and see what happens. And maybe, you know, 10 bucks a day for five days, just test it out. So anyways, let's get started here. Uh, right at the top here, it says, create your first campaign. So we'll click on that. Okay, next, once you land on this page, uh, basically what you're trying to do, uh, you're ready to create your first campaign. So campaign name, we will name this campaign. Now Google has uh, campaigns, they have ad groups, and they have ads. I'll explain kind of a little more as we go along what the difference between those three different uh, titles are. So first thing, your campaign, that's the overall, you know, main uh, title, okay, the, the overall uh, encompassing all your different ads, if you had a multiple ads about your, uh, let's say, landscaping business, they would all be within your campaign. And 
we need to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one landscaping. You can leave it at, you know, the default campaign one being since it's your first ad if you want, that's fine too. Anyways, that's what I'm calling mine. So over here, uh, it asks you if you want a keyword targeted text ad showing on Google search results. And that's what we're after. People uh, on Google using the uh, search, uh, search on Google trying to find your services. And this says search network only. I'm going to click that off. If you wanted, uh, there's other options. You know, if, if you're advertising to people through apps, through YouTube, uh, they have a shopping option. Display network, display networks, you know, uh, those image ads that you see. That's That would be display network. This is search network with display select. We're simply going to, I, I find the best results on search network only. You can uh, experiment with those and see if you have any luck with any of the other ones, but I find the best is the search network only. And it asks you to make these, confirm these changes. Yes, we will. The next thing uh, down here under networks, it says Google search network, and it also has ticked off included search partners. Now, certain other search engines, uh, smaller search engines feed off of Google's data, and they would be included in that. So if you wanted to make your ad go a little broader, you could, you could include that. I tend to just tick that off. I like to use Google, solely just Google. So personal preference, totally up to you. Um, devices, ads will be shown to all eligible devices by default. So that means you know, mobile phones, tablets, laptops. Locations, here's where geographically you can hone in target. Now, if you're, let's say, a dating website and you wanted to target North America or, or just, I mean, USA and Canada, that's where you would select this. But chances are you're a local business, you're a, you know, it's a lawyer, a auto shop, uh, you know, it's, it's, you want to target people in your city, in your neighborhood that are looking for your services. So we'll click on let me choose. And here I'm just going to enter in a large city in Canada, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, our largest city and it gives you you know the reach 5.4 million people and then it asks you you know what language you want to target i have english if if you know you're in some of the southern states you might want to include spanish that's up to you i'm just using english for my example bid strategy and and also french in canada don't forget uh if you're in canada we also have the French option, but being it's Toronto, I'm just selecting English. Bid strategy. Now here it says automated, maximize clicks. Now, again, uh, personal experience, that, that allows Google to determine what your bid should be for that particular keyword. Me personally, I like a little more control. I like to decide, no Google, I, I wanna only bid this much for that keyword, uh, thanks anyways. But I find manual CPC at the very bottom here has been the uh, the most economical for me to be able to to keep my cost per click in check. So your default bid, Bing's, we're manually bidding. It says, okay, what are you willing to bid on your average keyword? So we can change this later to for each particular keyword or phrase. But I'm just going to put in. Two dollars. You can put in, you know, a dollar fifty cents, whatever you want. Mind you, if you go too low, you're not going to get many clicks. Uh, budget. How much are you willing to spend per day? Uh, in this example, I'm just going to put in fifteen dollars. You can put in, you know, five dollars, ten dollars, and if if whatever makes you comfortable, I wouldn't go crazy. Anything over, you know, twenty five or fifty dollars on on your first ad per day. You're just testing the waters here, getting uh, some experience. So uh, that's that's my advice. Fifteen dollars per day for your first ad here. So ad extensions. This is more of an, an advanced feature. I'm just simply going to skip this altogether for this tutorial, as this is more for beginners. 
Um, and then we will simply click on save and continue. Okay, you can see up top here, we got the green check mark. We've moved on to step two, create ad groups. So what's an ad group? Right here, it tells you. An ad group contains one or more ads and a set of on a set of related keywords. For best results, try to focus all your ads and keywords in an ad group on one product or service. So in my example, I'm going to do a fictitious landscaping company. Let's say the landscaping company does landscaping, they do lawn care, and they do snow removal because hey, we're from Toronto and we get snow up here. So those are three separate services. So we would create uh, three different ad groups for those specific services. In my demonstration though, I'm only gonna create one ad group. So the first thing it asks you to enter your landing page. What's a landing page? Landing page is where, what, what page on your website you will be directing this traffic to. So somebody clicks on an ad, it's going to go right to uh, your, your specific, let's, let's say I have a landscaping website with a lawn care page and I'm advertising a lawn care it would go right to my lawn care page. Um, one of the bigger mistakes that a lot of first timers make is they, they run ads and they direct the ads right to their home page. So I'm a customer looking for lawn care services. I land on this landscaping homepage. I see a bunch of landscaping photos. I see some, you know, some snow blowing photos and I'm confused. Wait a sec. I'm looking for lawn care. What? Nah, I, I, and right away they just click the back button. Now, if I would have landed on a specific page that that website had specifically for lawn care, I land there. It's, you know, it just shows all these brand new, beautiful, high tech lawn mowers cutting, you know, doing this amazing job. And I'm okay. I've landed. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for lawn care. And then I continue reading on. So that's the idea, anyways, with your ad groups. Unfortunately, the demo website that I have uh, is in uh, the lawn care page is in Latin, so I can't direct them to the lawn care page. So I will enter in my homepage address of the demo website. And probably wondering why car on desktop, what's that got to do with with uh, landscaping, that's just an old domain that I use to create that demo website. So just ignore that. So once you enter in your your web page or website that you are directing your ads to, you'll notice over on the right here, uh, it, it crawls your website and says, "Hey, okay, we found you know lawn treatment. We we, we discovered what your website's about, and we've come up with these ideas. So there's commercial landscaping." organic lawn. It automatically came up with these keyword ideas. You can see here if I, you know, mowing services, that would be perfect if we're advertising lawn care services. So if I click on this plus five keywords, the drop down here, this window pops open. It shows us different keywords that we can use in our advertising campaign, suggested keywords. It gives us a monthly volume in the city of Toronto, how often those are searched for. This is you know, lawn mowing service is obviously the, the top one that we want to target. And we will just simply at the bottom here, click on add to campaign. Those are great keywords if we were trying to advertise a lawn care uh, service. Also under keywords here, let's say you have a bunch of your own keywords. You can enter those here. So I'm just gonna enter one uh, lawn care quote you can enter as many uh, keywords, related keywords as you want. But I try and keep that list to, you know, 15 to 20 at max. So it, it, it all depends on what niche you're in. So anyways, we've got a list of keywords here. It's brought over our default bit of $2. And that is basically our first ad group for lawn care. Now, if I wanted to create a new ad group for snow removal, say I would do that here and again, repeat the process. So moving on, we will click on continue to ads. So green check mark for our ad group. Here we are at ads. So write your text ad below. Remember to be clear and specific. 
Here's an example. You know, when you do a Google search, Google search, you will see uh, a bunch of ads appear usually at the top, and even now at the bottom, they take up a lot of real estate on the uh, the search results. So these uh, ads, you have a you know the title, your website address in the green, and then the content in the black here and the small text at the bottom. So we have to come up with uh, that information. First thing it asks you to is find your URL. So URL, unique resource uh, locator, I believe that stands for. Basically a fancy phrase for your website address. So mine is uh, car on desktop. Oops. Car on desktop dot com. So just simply enter your web address in there. You'll notice that it populates down here now. Any questions that you might have about any of these, you, you can hover over these question marks and these uh, windows will pop out and, and give you detailed info what you're supposed to be doing there. So headline right here, New York's budget hotel in the example one, uh, best New York hotel rates in seconds. So New York budget hotel. So we can punch in lawn care. I mean, that's the keyword that we're going after. Um, and, and you'll notice right here, the 19, the, this number, that's the number of characters we have in this title section. And you want to uh, use as many of those as possible without going over. You can't go over. So lawn care, get a free quote. Let's say get a quote now. So we've still got four characters. That's fine. We didn't go over lawn care. I could put it maybe a dash in there. Lawn care, get a quote now. Uh, one thing I want to point out, when I first started Google AdWords, I was frustrated. There was all kinds of, you know, rules and whatnot. I was, you know, trying, oh, well, I, I, maybe I can put in all capitals and, and uh, you know, I was using certain words that would trigger, you know, it would trigger penalties or not penalties. They, they would say, hey, you're breaking the terms of service. And I, if you're, you're new, I get it. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of rules that you have to follow. So one of the important things I want to point out is right at the bottom here, editorial guidelines. If you click on that, this page will pop open and, and give you the policies. Uh, if you happen to be creating an ad and you're getting some, you know, warning message that, you know, this ad is not allowed, this this gives you all the rules. And I highly advise you to to go over the policies and uh, it, it, prohibited content, uh, prohibited practices, restricted content, you know, certain uh, phrases you're not allowed to use and misrepresentation uh just simply go over there. It's full of information. You'll find out when you get those little pop-up warnings that you're doing something wrong. It'll be in here. And uh, the Google, I, I must admit, they're not the best at telling you exactly what you did wrong. So you got to kind of do your, your homework and, and dig a little sometimes to find out exactly what rule you broke and, and then go back and correct it. So anyways, carrying on here. Lawn care, get a, get a quote now. Um uh, Headline two, this uh, line, we got 30 characters as well. I will simply put in here uh, commercial or residential. And then finally at the bottom here under description, that's this line here, the small, tiny black text. You see, we got 80 characters to fill in here. Just uh, you can punch in whatever you want there. You're you're trying to convince the customer to click on this ad, so you want to give them as as many important facts or or points encouraging them why they should click on this ad, why 
they need your lawn care, why they need your painting service, your auto garage services, whatever. This is your your chance again to to grab their attention. So I'm just going to put in something cheesy here. A name, I don't know, serving Toronto for over 20 years, a name you can trust. I would never do this if I was actually doing an ad. I would spend 15, 20 minutes vetting it out. And uh, this is just a off the cuff kind of story. I, I didn't have this prepared out. Uh, you'll notice over here, it gives you a, a, an example of your ad, lawn care, get a quote now, commercial or residential, uh, serving Toronto for over 20 years, a name you can trust. And okay, that looks good. Check it for any, you know, spelling mistakes. And then simply click on create ad. So there's your what your ad will look like. And if you need to create a second ad, this is where you do it, this little plus sign here. But for the demo, we're just doing the, the one ad. And then it tells you to review the campaign. So click on review campaign and it gives you a daily estimate. It says you're almost done. Review the performance estimates and setting for your campaign. So we've got a budget budget of $15. We're targeting the city of Toronto with Google search only in the English language. And yeah, everything looks decent here. So now we can simply click on save and finish. So once that's saved, you'll see our ad group here, and it's and you'll see that it's eligible. Now it needs to be reviewed. So your account up, you'll see up top here in red, your account isn't active. To activate your account, to start running your ads, enter your billing information. So just simply click on fix it. And then you just simply follow the process of setting up your account. Select the country or territory where your billing address is located. I know I'm in Canada. I'm just using this as a demonstration, and I will be uh, erasing this account shortly. Uh, then again, fill in if you're a business or an individual. The standard, you know, sign up process. All the uh, all the uh, address information, contact information. How you want to pay, uh, you'll you'll uh, you know you can add your credit card or if you want your right out of your bank account, and then be sure to agree to the terms of service. Again, this is a demo account. I'll be erasing this account right after, so don't try and get a hold of me at this email. I just created this for this tutorial. Okay, once you've entered in all your contact information and payment details, just simply click on the campaigns uh, tab here, and you'll see your your ad that you just created. Uh, once once you've entered in your your payment info and contact details, they will review your ad, and sometimes that process they say takes up to forty eight hours. They uh, approve or, or review each individual ad to make sure it applies to their guidelines. So you're not you know you're stuffing you know uh, swear words or, or I I think the the filters catch those pretty quick. But making sure that you're playing by the rules, and <clears throat> once once you're approved, uh, your ad will start running. Now I've seen ads be approved as quickly as two hours. It depends on you know the time of the year, how busy they are, how uh, you know how many ads they have coming in, and how quickly they can approve it. Usually, usually you know once your uh, account is set up, maybe the first one might take the the full 24 or 48 hours to be approved. But once it's approved you will uh, usually find it a lot quicker, a couple hours and once you create an ad and then you'll see it's approved. So right if, right over here, if we click this little green dot beside your ad, remember I said I would show you if you wanted to pause it, you just simply click pause here if you didn't want to get billed or if you wanted to stop that ad from running. So just simply click on paused and there you see 
the two little gray slashes, it's paused. So you're not getting billed for that. It says paused over here. Again, that was under the, the campaigns tab. We want to enable that ad again. Just simply go back and click on enable. So it's that easy. So once your ad's approved, you can slide back into your Google Analytics and watch and see any traffic that's uh, coming to your website that Google Analytics member on module one and uh, just watch the traffic and, and, and see what keywords are working and what ones are not. So if you wanted, you can also get some reports in Google AdWords. Up top here, we would click on reports. And it asks you to, you know, we're going to click on this. You can click on get started. I'm just going to exit this out. And it's a step-by-step -step guide. Yes, exit. Uh, you can go through that if you want. And we have no reports at this time. But over here, it would show you all, all kinds of detail, uh, you know, what keywords were shown, what was clicked, how much you got charged per click. Okay, one thing that I wanted to show you is if we went to our, uh, back to our campaign here. So click on campaigns and we wanted to add another campaign. This is where you would do it here. Just simply click on the plus sign campaign. But I want to go in and check out these keywords here. So I would click on landscaping under campaign. And then up top here, you'll see keywords. And here we are, the list of keywords that we selected for this particular campaign. So lawn mowing service, mowing services, lawn care quote. And you'll notice a whole bunch of these are you know below first page bid. So what's a first page bid? If you were to do a Google search for lawn mowing service in Toronto, there's probably going to be five or six ads, three at the top, three at the bottom up here. And we're not even making that with our bid. Remember, we had that default bid of, of $2 here. So first page bid estimate is saying, hey, if you bid $3.11, you're probably going to make that first page. So you can bump that up. You can bump that up to $4. You can say, you know what, I want to be at the top. Maybe I'll bid higher. Or it's entirely up to you. So... The way you do that was over here, you just simply click here. It says set keyword specific bid. So for lawn mowing service, uh, let's go with $3.50. Click on save. And now we're eligible, okay? Uh, none of these ads would even run just because we're, we've bid too low. And that's why I started out at you know only $2. So now somebody clicks on, you know, they're doing a Google search for lawn mowing service. They're in the, you know, the, the market. They're looking for some lawn care service and they click on our ad. We can get charged. Now this is an estimate. doesn't mean we're going to get charged $3 and 50 cents. We might only get charged $2 and 12 cents. It's, these are, are not, you know, concrete numbers. It's just a, a rough number depending on the, the uh, ad auction at that moment. So anyways, we can go through each one of these and, and adjust our bid. So I would click over here and adjust this. They're saying you want to be on that first page, 271. I'm just going to put that, let's say $3.03. And you can go through and adjust each one that way. So now we're eligible to appear. So if somebody does click on that, you're going to get charged, but it's somebody looking for this particular service. So yeah, you, you might think, wow, $3 for a click. No, it's $3. Let's say it's a, somebody that is a, you know, has a commercial property. They've got, uh, you know, a, a $200 a week job for you th that you sign a contract for the season. That's $3, $3 well spent. So Anyways, that's that's how you do that. That's how you uh, set your bid per individual keyword. Okay, congrats on creating your first ad in Google AdWords. It wasn't that hard now, was it? Now, uh, this is a very 
basic tutorial for beginners. I, I am trying not to get into too many details. It's, it's hard to cover everything, but I just want to give you a, a good foundation. So now you have your ad. What determines where exactly your ad is going to show? If even at all it shows, you might see that your, your ad's not appearing. So there is what you call, or what they call the, the uh, Google AdWords auction. So the auction basically it was, is created by a bunch of geniuses. I mean, let's face it, the people working at Google are a, are a smart group there. They've been doing this for a while and they've determined, um, just, just like their search results, how they became the number one uh, search engine in the world was by serving up the best results. So uh, same thing, doesn't. It, it's no different with their ads. They want to make sure that the best ads are appearing near the top. So when you, the user, happen to click on an ad, you're actually getting what you're, what you're looking for. So it doesn't mean you can, you can go in there with a big fat wallet and say, hey, I've got all this money and uh, I, I know that everybody else is bidding $3 a click. I'm gonna bid $4 a click, so I'm gonna be first on top there and I'll have the, the top spot and uh, every time and, and I'll get all the business. It doesn't exactly work that way. Yeah, at first, I mean, if you go in there with a really high bid and you, uh, they're gonna give you a shot. They're gonna give you a chance. Uh, but you have to realize you are being graded. Your ad is being graded. So it's what they call a quality score. So uh, the quality score, there's a, there's a bunch of factors that go into determining this quality score of your ad. So number one is your click-through rate. How many people actually see your ad and click on it? So that determines basically your your ad title. Is it catchy? Is it you know standing out? Is there a call to action in your ad? Uh, you know, hey, free click here for a free quote. You know, something like that. Something to encourage that click. So you could be spending you know four dollars on an ad when everybody else is spending three, but if nobody's clicking through on your ad and all the $3 ads are getting click-throughs, where's Google gonna make the, the most money? Let's face it, Google's a business and the number one thing for any business is to, right, make money. So they've determined if, uh, even if you're bidding high, but if nobody's gonna click on your ad, your click-through rate, they're not gonna show your ad that often. So you need a good click-through rate, number one. Uh, number two, your landing page. What is a landing page? That's where you have that link going from your ad to your website. Now, remember I said a lot of people make the mistake, a lot of beginners make the mistake of linking their ad to their homepage. So if, I, and I keep using this landscaping uh, company as an example, if you're advertising your lawn care services but going to a landscaping homepage website that has a whole bunch of different services, that's not as good as if you're you know, advertising lawn care in your ad and going right to a lawn care page within that landscaping website. So that would be a much better landing page because it's specifically and just about lawn care. So you're graded on that, your landing page. Number three, you will also be graded upon the keywords within your uh, within your ad group. So let's say you're advertising again for lawn care services. You've got lawn care, uh, lawn care quote, uh, grass cutting, uh, you know, those are all related. Once you start going outside of that specific niche of, you know, lawn care, grass cutting, and then you start saying uh, landscaping, commercial landscaping, and you start getting too broad, okay? And that's gonna hurt your quality score. You want your your ad group of words to be very tightly related. So that is another factor in your quality score. Number four, is the keyword that you're targeting included in your ad text? So if we're, tar if we're targeting lawn care services in the city of Toronto and your ad should include the term lawn care, if it doesn't, you're not going to get as good of a quality score. And finally, number five, the, uh, I shouldn't say finally, but five of the well-known uh, items that you're graded on for your quality score. The fifth one is your overall historical account performance. 
So Bing's, if you're just new, you really don't have much of an account history with Google, so you're, you're starting off pretty good. But if you have shown over a course of time that you're a very poor advertiser, that's gonna affect your overall quality score uh, throughout time. And, and I mean, you have to get better at the game to improve that and bring that score up. Again, another common mistake by beginners, uh, I shouldn't say mistake, but you know, that doubt is, how much should I be bidding on these ads? So if you follow my setup procedure, you'll see that I select manual uh, bidding, and that way I can select if I wanna go in and start at a dollar or two dollars, and uh, you'll see once you go into the keyword section exactly uh, what you need to be bidding to be on that first page. Now, uh, again, those are estimates. It doesn't necessarily mean if you bid that, that's exactly what you'll, you'll pay, but they're fairly close for the most part. But sometimes I've seen uh, where I bid, let's say three dollars on a keyword, yet I'm only charged, you know, a dollar and twelve cents. So just just for reference. And without getting too advanced here, I will cover keyword uh, matches. So in Google AdWords, you have an opportunity to have a broad match of a certain keyword. You can have a phrase match, or you can have a exact match. And finally, the fourth is the keyword modifier with little plus sign. Pretty advanced right there if I start explaining that fourth one, but the first three I will cover in this video. If you want more details, if you go to tomtattle.com slash traffic, I will discuss these four keyword matching options. So number one, we'll start with the broad match. So when you are punching in your keywords into Google AdWords, the ad, or sorry, the keywords that you will be targeting, uh, if you do not put anything around those words, they will be what's called a broad match. So if you're targeting, uh, let's say, lawn care, and you just type in lawn care, you might get ads showing for landscaping services. I mean, it, might, it, it, it covers a very broad range and trying to get you traffic. It's the widest net that you will cast if you just have a uh, broad, uh, match type of keyword and you have the opportunity to get the uh, the greatest number of people to your website but at the same time you're you're going through your ad budget very quickly and maybe not so much the targeted customers that you want on your website so secondly we have phrase match now phrase match is you put the keyword or phrase in quotation marks so a phrase match let's say uh, lawn care if you put lawn care within quotations, any uh, term that has lawn care in it when they're searching and, and you happen to have your ad up here would be, for example, uh, Toronto's best lawn care. So you would show up for that search. Um, the next match is exact match, which has the square bracket. So if you just go by the, uh, I believe on the keyboard, the P key, right to the right of the P key on your keyboard, you will see uh, the square brackets. And you would put those around your phrase, so lawn care with square brackets. And with that particular one, they would have to specifically type in only the term lawn care. They couldn't have Toronto lawn care or uh, lawn care near me. It would have to be just lawn care, so exact match. So if you wanted to uh, target specific, very specific terms and not have to be spending money on other, you know, closely related terms, you could use exact match. But mind you, you might not get a whole lot of traffic. And finally, the fourth one is the keyword modifier with the plus sign, which again, I'll cover in more detail if you go to tomtattle.com slash traffic and look in the pay-per-click section. I could go on and, and cover you know negative keywords and, and a whole bunch of uh, other details, but I think I've given you a good foundation to get you going, get you started, get your uh, taste buds wet there. You've got the, the coupon to get an extra $75 in advertising and get your feet wet. Get out there, do some searches, look for other videos on advertising, pay-per-click advertising, maybe sign up for Bing or even uh, get your feet wet with uh, Facebook ads if you want to try that. So anyways, I'm Tom Tattle. Thanks for watching this series. If you found this the least bit helpful, 
Uh, I really appreciate any referrals. If you have uh, you know relatives or friends in business that want to increase their, their sales, looking for more leads through their website, I appreciate uh, any referrals that you give me. I also uh, really thrive on subscribers and people who give me the thumbs up in the video. I appreciate it if you did get any value out of this video at all. Uh, the, uh, the thanks you can give me is by giving me a thumbs up below and subscribing to my channel for more great information. I will be coming out with more. And I need you to stay tuned because the fourth module, we will cover Google My Business. So Google My Business is that little map that you see when uh, you do certain searches for local services or businesses. There's a map that appears with a bunch of different companies on the map. I'm gonna show you how you can get your company your local business listed on that map. So stay tuned and join me in module four.